Hey guys, it's Nicole from PrairieWoodsHomeschool.com and today I'm going to be sharing all of our favorite educational games for preschoolers. Alright, so before we get into the games, a quick welcome and introduction if you're new to my channel. So my name is Nicole and I'm a wife and a homeschool mom to three kiddos. So this year I have a kindergartner, a preschooler, and a baby. And we are a very eclectic style homeschool family. And here on my channel I like to share lots of activity ideas, homeschool hauls, morning basket ideas, and so much more homeschool related material. So if that's something you guys are interested in, be sure to hit the subscribe button Button. and don't forget to ring the bell so you guys will be notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so again, I'm going to be sharing some of our favorite educational games that are geared towards preschoolers this video. Now, these are just our family's favorite games and some of these are board games and some of them are card games and I'm really excited to share these with you. So we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so the first game we have is Snug as a Bug in a Rug, and I'd have to say that this is our family's number one favorite game right now. Um, it's just a ton of fun, and it's great for preschoolers because it works on counting a little bit, and it also works on color recognition, shape recognition, and number recognition, and also big versus little. And it's a cooperative game, meaning you guys work together as a team and you guys either all win or you all lose. And the goal of the game is to get all of the bugs under the rug before all three stink bugs land on the rug. And <laughs> when we put a stink bug on the rug, we all go, P.U. Stink Bug! Stink Bug! Ready? Ready? And the kids just laugh and laugh. And so it's a ton of fun. So I, I really recommend this one if you guys are looking for kind of a cooperative game to start with your preschooler and this one is by Peaceable Kingdom. They make really high quality games so we really like this brand. And another cooperative game that's also by Peaceable Kingdom is Hoot Owl Hoot. So not only does this one also work on working together and cooperation but it also works on color matching and kind of planning ahead and strategic thinking as you have to get all three of the baby owls back home to their nest before the sun rises and you can also make this game more challenging by adding up i believe to start with six owlets instead of three so that's a great way to kind of make it more challenging especially if you're including older children as well but um my three-year-olds have been able to play this one and it's just been a really fun time to play as a family Okay, so the next game I want to mention is Go Fish, you guys. This is such a classic game, and you guys can use any old deck of cards, and it's a really great way to work on number recognition and for your preschooler to learn their numbers in a really fun and engaging way. Or you guys could even do Alphabet Go Fish. So we have the World of Eric Carl Alphabet Go Fish game. And my preschooler was so excited when we got these that he ripped the entire box open to get the cards out. So unfortunately, the box is ruined. So if you guys have any favorite storage solutions for cards, let me know down below in the comments. I am on the lookout for ways to store our cards so they don't get ruined. But anyways, so this game matches the uppercase letter cards with the lowercase letter. And it's also a really great way to reinforce those letter sounds. So you have A for ah, ah, alligator. So whoever has the most pairs at the end of the game is, of course, the winner. And I just find this to be a really fun way, again, to work on letter recognition and letter sounds. Here's a few more examples of the Eric Carl cards. So we have B for bear, C for caterpillar. D for duck, E for elephant. So again, they're just really gorgeous like most Eric Carl illustrations are. I will say that this Eric Carl one was a little bit pricey for a card game. So if you guys are on a really tight budget, you could just go to your local Dollar Tree or Target Dollar Spot and pick up two pairs of alphabet flashcards there and use those to play alphabet go fish so for example we have these alphabet flashcards that we got at our local dollar tree 
So I could have just picked up two of these and we could have done alphabet go fish with just uppercase letters using these flashcards. So a great way to do it on a budget. And then another card game are these create a story cards and these ones are by Ebu. Ebu is another company that makes really high quality games. We've been very pleased with our Ebu games, so I highly recommend that company as well if you guys are looking for games. Um, but yeah, these creative story cards are really fun for storytelling. They work on creative thinking and building imagination in your little one. And you can use these several different ways. So you could have six or seven cards laid out and just have your child come up with a story. Or you could come up with a story. Or you could have a pile of cards and you each could draw one and as kind of a team you would make up a story as you go. So here's some of the cards. They're just really beautiful. And they do have different themes. This is the forest one. There's also a fairy tale one. But yeah, so again, a really great way to work on storytelling. Okay, and then we have bingo. Who doesn't love bingo? <laughs> but for real, you guys can pretty much cover any topic with bingo. So if you guys can't find a game to purchase out there, there's lots of printables that you can either get for free or purchase online as well. And I'm serious, you guys can get pretty much bingo in every topic. So there's alphabet bingo, there's shape bingo, there's dinosaur bingo, and so much more. So I'm going to show you some of the bingo games that we have. So the first one we have here is another World of Eric Carl game. And I really like this one because they only have to get three in a row instead of five. So it's really great for preschoolers that don't have that great of an attention span yet. So here's one of the playing cards. It's also a great game to work on colors as well as building vocabulary. And this particular game is also a memory game. So the little like call cards here, you can use these as a memory game as well. So yeah, there's that one. And then we also have our Spanish bingo. And this one is another one by Ibu. And then we also have our bird bingo. So we played this one with our bird unit that we did this past spring. And if you guys missed that video, I will be sure to link it down below in the description box for you. Memory games are also really great for preschoolers. And just like with bingo, you guys can cover quite the variety of topics using them. One of our most recent favorite memory games has been this match a pair of birds memory game. So of course this was for our bird unit study initially and we've just really enjoyed playing it since then. And this one matches up the male and the female birds for each species. So you get to learn the differences between the sexes and a little more about each species of bird as well as where they are located. I also wanted to mention that memory games are also really great for independent play with your preschoolers. So once they get the hang of how to play memory games, they can easily play these by themselves and work on those cognitive skills. The last game I have to share with you guys is Some Swamp. So this is a really great game to play if your preschooler is ready for some simple addition and subtraction. I think my daughter was able to play this game with a little help uh, a few months before she turned five. And if you guys have any manipulatives laying around, you could use Unifix cubes. Uh, you could use even some food like marshmallows or cereal 
or some little erasers even but that would be a great way to start playing this with your preschooler this game works on adding and subtracting digits one through six and it's also a great way to learn what those operations look like as well as odds versus evens so this is just a really fun game to play if your preschooler is ready for this type of math all right, you guys, so those are all of our favorite board games and card games for preschoolers. I will link what I can down below in the description box for you guys. That way, in case you want to check out any of these games any further, you can do so easily. And if you guys enjoy game schooling as much as we do, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below and let me know down in the comments what your family's favorite games are, especially for the preschool years. I'd love to know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.